Hello viewers welcome back to another weekend episode today i am coming to you with a very rich and creamy lotus biscoff cheesecake this lotus biscoff biscuits are in our opinion one of the greatest biscuits on the market and we can't get enough of this delectable cheesecake if you are a fan of this lotus biscoff just like me you are going to love this recipe subscribe to nazima's taste of home press the bell icon for latest updates for this recipe i'm going to use this lotus biscoff i'm i will use about one and a half packets 16 ounces of cream cheese 14 ounces of this biscoff cookie spread 2 cups of heavy whipping cream and butter as needed lightly grease the base and sides of an 18 inch round spring foam tin and lay a parchment paper on the bottom and place biscoff cookies around the edge of the spring foam tin facing outwards let's begin with the biscoff cookie crust crush about 12 biscoff cookies into crumbs to do this you can use a food processor alternatively you can place the cookies in a ziploc bag and use a rolling pin to crush the cookies melt 80 grams butter in a microwave or in a pot on the stove add the butter to the crumbs and mix well make sure everything is well combined and tip into the prepared cake tin press down firmly with the back of a spoon chill for at least 1 hour in the refrigerator meanwhile let's make the cream cheese filling in a separate cold bowl add 2 cups of whipping cream 1/2 teaspoon vanilla essence 1/2 a cup of powdered sugar whip the cream on high speed until soft peaks form this will take about 4 to 5 minutes now the soft peaks are ready in a large bowl at the room temperature cream cheese half a cup of biscuit cookie butter or cookie spread with a rubber spatula gently mix the cream cheese and make it softer just like this and then let's add the cookie butter combine well and with a hand mixer beat it for about 2 minutes then gently fold in the whipped cream with the cream cheese be careful not to deflate the whipped cream beat on low speed for about 1 or 2 minutes once all well combined add the cheesecake filling into the spring foam pan and with an offset spatula even out the cheesecake filling and cover the spring pan with the cling fling and place it in the refrigerator for a minimum of 8 to 12 hours i'm going to leave overnight and then let's melt rest of the biscoff spread in the microwave or you can use the double boil method and i'm going to transfer this into a pourable dish move the chilled cream cheese onto the counter top and then gently pour the melted biscoff spread all over the top of the cheesecake or you can create a drip effect by gently pushing small amounts of the topping over the edge with a small spoon leave it again in the refrigerator for an hour and then this delicious and easy no bake biscoff cheesecake is ready for serving depending on your skill level and confidence you can be as elaborate or simple as you like with the topping of your cheesecake the good thing is that even a simple cheesecake decoration can be very effective the spread on the top hardens up again and gives it that added flavor of biscoff and a professional look 
hope you enjoy this simple and easy no bake biscoff cheesecake if you like this recipe please share it with your friends and family spread the joy of cooking see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later